Earlier today, Jim Harbaugh interviewed for the head coach job at Minnesota. Okay? It's signing day. That's awkward and that's weird. Okay, let me understand. After beating Ohio State for the first time in a decade last season, winning the Big Ten title for the first time since the league created divisions, making a CFP for the first time in school history, and putting together the most successful season in Ann Arbor in more than 20 years, Wolverine fans would be forgiven if they have mixed emotions today. Because despite returning two talented tailbacks, Donovan Edwards and Blake Corman, adding a transfer and Jarek Broussard, who was outstanding, Colorado, keeping Broyles award-winning offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis on staff, and cementing a top-10 recruiting class in this cycle, Jim Harbaugh was telling anybody that would listen, if I get offered an NFL head coach job, I'm going to take it. Now, full respect for him, not cloak and dagger in the thing, you know, being on the phone or being in the living room talking about come play at University of Michigan and also interview him for head coaching jobs. He's telling anybody that would listen, including those recruits, hey, I want to coach in the NFL again. That's going to happen. Well, it ain't happened. He interviewed for the job, called up the folks at University of Michigan and said, I'm going to be returning, to which the University of Michigan folks are reportedly elated. But are they, though? Are they really, though? Let me unpack this on their side. Michigan was sorry in 2020. Say that again. Michigan was sorry in 2020. So sorry that they lost twice as many games as they won, and then they made Jim Harbaugh renegotiate his contract so that it was incentive-based because they could not come around to paying that man the amount of money they were paying that man to put out the team and the product that they did in 2020. That's not me saying they were sorry. That is the administration of the University of Michigan saying they were sorry. And Jim Harbaugh, who deserves all credit, said bet and put out one of the best teams that Michigan has seen the past 20 years and then treated them with the same loyalty that they treated him with last year. I don't fault the man. Not at all. But this also comes at a wildly complicated moment because on Tuesday, former Miami Dolphins head coach Brian Flores filed suit alleging racial discrimination and hiring practices against the entire NFL. Okay? It's a 58-page suit. There's a lot in it. I've read it. I'm still taking things apart from it. But this you need to understand. Brian Flores has as recently as December coached an NFL team. It's been nearly six years since Jim Harbaugh coached an NFL team. Brian Flores probably would have been up for the Minnesota head coaching job if he hadn't filed suit against, you know, the 32 owners of teams in the league. If Minnesota had hired Jim Harbaugh a day after Flores filed that suit, it would have been a terrible look for Minnesota and the NFL. And rightly or wrongly, it would have made Harbaugh look bad, right? I don't believe he deserves any shade whatsoever for this, but his name and his interviewing were attached. And quite frankly, he decided he's going to take an interview on National Signing Day. If I'm his agent, I'm calling him up like, Joe, dog, do we need to do, we need to do it on this day? Can we do it the next day? Is it, is it really going to make that much of a difference? So I have my suspicions about whether or not Minnesota was actually going to hire him in the first place. And then after the Flores thing, I'm like, yo, Byron Leftwich going to get a call. Eric Bieniemy going to get a call. Todd Bowles going to get a call. I can keep going along. Raheem Morris. Dudes is going to get calls, right? Certain dudes going to get calls. But they'd already told it that they were going to give this interview. So they gave this interview. But more than anything else for you, fan of the sport, fan of your team, it shows even more how loyalty – is not guaranteed among coaches. As a matter of fact, loyalty can make fools of our faith. Right? Sucks, but is what it is. Like, think about, I say think about, don't think about me. People make it about me. You've had a coach 
that has coached your program or coached your team that you really adored who had to leave for one reason or another. And if he left you for a cute West Coast blonde who is amazing to him and sunshine and you're in this state where we're going to have a winter warning and there's snow and ice, you feel some kind of way because there's nothing you can do about the weather here. And you just a, a brown black man that likes rooting for the crimson and cream. You feel some kind of way about it. And now you're jaded. You're scarred. You don't respect loyalty because you understand everybody got a price. Michigan, welcome to the club. You know what I mean? Thanks for watching this video. And remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.